was he? Well, I knew, but who had he once been? I never inquired of his past, where he had been born, his parents, sisters, brothers, whether he was a city kid or country, which country it might have been, what he knew, felt, what he wished his world could have been. Was there now a world where I could go and tell what family he might have there about the man I knew? A world that I just might settle in, discover and even relive the life he left behind that might be better than the one we found ourselves in at the point he died. Here in the dunes, among enemies and without comforts, without the time left to convey or even recall what that former world had held, his vestiges now crumbled. Perhaps a world in which he said what he meant and was believed. There was a world where things could let themselves be seen, even in the dark. A world where the ground would not shift or fail beneath his balanced feet, nor lightning ever touch the earth. Perhaps a world where he grew to adulthood through friends and family, through cool streams he waded and sat by, and trails he walked. A world that went with him as he grew, and went with him when he died. A shabby house at Cornfield's Edge, wife, Emily, perhaps, the years he toiled for an awful man, day after long, sweaty day, in the decrepit mill, slicing up huge oaks they'd struggled to fell deep in the woods, dragged back with mules. Those placid beasts might tolerate the twins astride their back one warm May day. October rains would come like migrating snow geese, on schedule and loud, and by Jiminy, you had to have the crop harvested and in the barn if you wanted to eat come winter. Bears came too, noses a twitch with the sweet smell of sizzling bacon, the dwindling brood of hogs locked safely in the barn as well, and pullets red and black and persnickety. The twins would chase them all day long among the hay bales, all clucking like mad things. And Emily, always so taut and sad, would even laugh. Her black dress did for winter and summer, with perhaps a daisy boutonniere on Easter. That winter when the snow was so deep they couldn't fetch more wood, and he had to burn her mother's Bible page by page for days to keep their fingers from turning blue. Even so, the twins would die dropped by winter fever. A world now nearly gone with him and her and them, and when I too should pass from this earth, it would be gone forever, as this one mine will save these few poor words 